let's hop into just the very first level of the very first game on moderate. This is the easiest difficulty. This is difficulty one of four. And this is in one of the areas that I know best because uh, I was here for a long time. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you is just the general importance of the paralysis grenades, the XR recon drone, and stealth as a whole. And the way that I'm going to do that is by going loud in the first objective. And we're going to run Ella just step. because I was I tend to get underfoot. given her high praise. Solo, you get 50 plus bonus HP. Uh, when you play with anyone else, it will uh, not give you the 50 bonus HP. So, the first thing is your immediate area when you come out of here, uh, when you just start your game, tends to be safe. So, you can kind of walk for a minute until you hear something. We're gonna stop right here. We're gonna pull out this XR recon drone. This is the one you unlock later. It marks in an, in the in the radius that you can kind of see present around me. Uh, this can be obviously improved to get things above you or below you and whatnot for like by jumping. Um, but this is going to mark your enemy targets. So our objective is to get to these nests and plant trackers on three of them. So the first thing is you can mark these and it will not go away until you mark something else. So I like to mark med kits and leave them marked so that I can remember where they are. I'd say there's more than enough nests to complete my objective here. Um, one of the biggest things is your react light lets you see through walls. This isn't because I've scanned them, the red outline is. The fact that I can see their skin and their bodies and the red marking their weak point and the green marking their defensive, like this is their hard to hit spot. This won't do any damage. This will do max damage. Now that I've alerted him, they're not mad yet. No one is mad at me yet. Until you hear the sound of your react, uh, this thing, I mean, the, the watch. When you hear the watch, that's your sign. It'll go bing. And that's when you know you're getting spotted. Like this boy. Yeah, so he just spotted me. He screamed. This is the react flashlight that takes out sprawl like this. This is so much easier if you don't have the opportunity to do that. You have to instead shoot or melee it to get it out of the way. There is no point in not doing that either. This is not more effective to try and run through this. You might as well because you're bad. you're basically at walking speed. Like you're at a general walking speed trying to sprint through that. So you might as well have your weapon out and just carve yourself in half like this. So, the reason that there's sprawl everywhere is because we ag agitated a nest. When the enemies howl, the nests get agitated. They give this effect where they get they get kind of twitchy and shaky, and they start to emanate the, uh, I'm gonna call them in, like an orange, like, ember effect. And that shows that they are agitated and when they start to spawn enemies, they're going to start to stretch and expand and contract, and then they'll spit out an enemy sooner or later. Um, when enemies are active, 
they're going to look like this. They're going to be... They're going to have this orange glow on them that represents kind of like their agitation. And they're going to be running around the map. So this guy is like on alert. He's trying to find me. He is roaming. There is a nest still active in here. Holy cow. See, so that's what an agitated nest looks like. That sound, that like heartbeat sound in a way, is the sound of a breacher, an agitated breacher. But it's just because we killed ones already. So this is another agitated nest. And this sprawl is all over here because of that. I'm gonna go ahead and leave a thing on that. One of the two two biggest things about the XR Recon Drone that is important to make note of as well is you do not need to be in your screen to recall it, and you do not need to let the power go out. You can just recall it by holding right on the D-pad or the applicable PC button. Um, available only in solo mode are areas around the map that you can examine for achievements. Um, it's mostly just for lore and achievements related to the lore. Uh, but you cannot activate those in multiplayer for some reason. I can't tell if it's a bug or not. So for this objective, we need to sneak around the plant nests. Let's go ahead and find three more, and maybe this time I won't get ag I won't agitate them while I'm trying to do this. Um, this is good for stealth because they are completely ignorant of your drone. Your drone does not disturb them whatsoever. else that I can show about an enemy. Um, here's one. Okay, so you see this boy is, they're just, these, these are idle. They're just kind of, this guy might pace around in some spots. But he's not agitated in the sense that he's running around looking for me. If I throw an explosive anywhere in the map, these guys are all going to get agitated. They're not going to like howl and alert and break stealth, but they're going to be drawn to the noise. So like literally if I throw this over here, boom, he's mad, he's mad. You can use this to your advantage sometimes. This guy's behind the wall, so I can't see him from there. Yeah, so those guys were gathered up because of the noise I made. Now, when this objective completes, it's going to make an explosion and it's going to alert enemies nearby. This is important in later difficulties. For example, I play saw the tracker number three, they're gonna go and they're gonna blow up, and this guy is gonna get agitated. He is not drawn to the sound. So it is important that you evacuate the area. When you take out a bloater without shooting it in its weak point, it's going to stay on the map so that you can shoot it. Now the bloaters the bloater exploder etc a weak point is right on their chin like right there it is very hard to see um on a console where you kind of have like aim assist and it's hard to make like very precise movements it is hard to hit um so i actually i just body shoot them 
just a quick three taps to the leg with most weapons will take it down and put it in this state. Uh, but you just shoot the sack and it will blow up whenever you want it to. And like I was saying about the react laser, it can add damage. It is doing passive damage right now to the nest. I do not know how exactly long it takes to do, to like take out a nest. Done in this sub zone. You should move to the next one. like five to eight seconds, but it adds to your damage, which means that, like, I maybe I only need to shoot two bullets instead of three, for example. Um, when you walk up to a nest and you do the takedown, it actually takes out more sprawl than normal. So, when I took out this nest, it didn't take out all the sprawl that it was like passively next to it. If I do it here, all of its passively generated sprawl is gone. It does not take out all the sprawl if you make it mad though. So like when it's agitated and it's fluttering and it's given off the embers and stuff, it generates more sprawl. It won't do that, it'll only do the radius. I'm gonna say like whatever radius this is, so... Oh, there's no distance measurement. I would say... 6 feet. <laughs> When it comes to using ammo, just pick up all the ammo kits that you want, that you think you'll need in solo. When you're doing it with your team, um, disperse it between your team until you have like four, uh, I, I would say like four digit numbers. Sometimes maybe you'll have, uh, 1300, 1200, 1600. If you have a lot of ammo kits, maybe you get up to 2,000, but if someone is sub 4 digits, like sub 1,000, they should get it. Another thing to keep note is get if you can here. mark through the wall for, for these up. and figure out what Look, these recharge. are. Because like, they're, for, you know, here. for most players, including myself, they mostly just look get like generic ammo. boxes. Get and this will help you figure out what you want. Like, I don't need a recharge, but maybe Pick I could up. use some ammo. You can kind of tell it's a med kit by its small size. And we certainly need it, so let's get over here. Okay. Doing alright. Maintain that focus in the next subzone. 